Hello YouTube, how's it going? I'm Steve and today I'm going to be doing a review for the Shure VP64A handheld microphone. Um, long story short, this is this is a pretty good microphone. I picked it up for about $150 Canadian. It's got good accurate voice reproduction, it's dynamic so you don't have to worry about a power source. It looks really nice on camera. Uh, that's one of the reasons I got it is it's a real visual upgrade from my Apex microphone that I was using before and there's no off button to hit by accident which is one of the biggest problems that I had while doing filming with people they'd hit it by accident and then we'd have to redo the whole scene because that's excuse me you uh you hit the off switch you got to turn that microphone back on if I could redo one thing is I would get the L version of this microphone it's about two inches longer this one's a little under eight inches long the other one is about closer to nine inches a little over nine inches closer to ten inches I'd say it's a slightly longer would help a little bit with interviews when you're going back and forth you got more reach like such this microphone has a omnidirectional polar pattern which means it is going to pick up some background noise um, you can probably hear my fridge humming right now maybe maybe not I kind of hope you can't uh, but it is also going to come in handy when you're doing interviews if you're going to be going back and forth and you're a little slow with moving your hand, it is going to pick up part of what the person's saying. If you're using a unidirectional microphone, it's going to pick up mostly just what it's pointed at. So it's going to be either you or the person you're interviewing. That's the one advantage for the omnidirectional microphone. Even though the windscreen on this microphone is a bit smaller than you'd probably expect, you're probably going to look at it and think it's a bit thin. It does a really good job, so I'm guessing it's maybe made out of denser material. So, you know, it's, uh, it's good. I got, a, I got no complaints about it. The frequency response on this is 50 to 12,000 hertz, which is pretty good. It surpasses the human vocal range, so you don't have any problems there. I'm not sure if this thing's any good with singing. I've definitely used it for voiceovers, and I think it sounded fantastic. Uh, I plugged it in through my Behringer, and it sounded really good. But like I said, I don't know if it's any good, if I can recommend it for a microphone for in-studio recording or anything like that. For vocalists, because I just I haven't tried it, I'm not much of a singer myself, so uh, maybe see if you can find another review where someone's able to sing a little bit on it, and they'll let you know whether or not you can use it for that. Now, to give you guys an idea of what this sounds like compared to other microphones, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to plug in my Apex microphone, and I'm going to do the outro for the video on it so that you guys can have a little idea as to what it sounds like when I'm using the other microphone. If you guys want to see more reviews, let me know in the comments section below. I'm doing my best to keep these informative but short. I hope you like my new setup. I got some new LED lights that I got going on, so hopefully my image quality is a little bit better. And, uh, you know, as always, be good to each other. Bye.